So you want to start publishing books on Amazon KDP. Watch this video. Hello, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all well. So recently I've been uploading books, many books, low content books up to KDP Amazon. And I'm wondering if this experiment is actually going to work. Now, a few years ago, I wrote three books, one photo book, one book of poetry, and also another uh, tale of endurance, as it were. So I wrote these three books and I put them as eBooks on uh, Amazon and not once, nobody's ever even looked at these things, which is, you know, interesting in itself. So I've never made a sale, but I thought, you know what? There's actually so many of people I know in different occupations, let's say. And I thought, actually, if I could just produce low content books like diaries, like notebooks, uh, like journals that were specific to that occupation, then perhaps there might be something in it. There might be something where you can sell books on Amazon. So I went about designing all these different kinds of books, journals, diaries, notebooks specific to an occupation or a lifestyle or a pastime. I designed other books that were around particular activities as well. And I've started to upload them on Amazon. So I'm going to leave the link in the description below to my author page because I'm now I'm an Amazon author, don't you know? But the point is, will this experiment work? Will I get any sales? Well, the fact is I really don't know. It's one of those things that you're going to upload your book as a self-published author. You're going to upload your book. You're going to try and publicize it as much as you can, wherever you can, amongst your social circle. And you're going to hope that it catches fire. You're going to hope that it gets some a groundswell of uh, attention until it reaches some kind of critical mass where it gets numerous, numerous sales. But the process of uploading your book or your photo album or your ebook to Amazon is so simple. You need to get yourself an Amazon KDP account, uh, first of all, which is really simple to do. It's all self explanatory uh, on their website. And then you just upload the formats in which they want, whether it's in PDF or all the other types of formats that are available. You just upload those formats. Now, a lot of these low content books that I'm producing right now in terms of there's, there's not a lot of writing in there. There's there's lines in there. There's a few headings here and there. There's spaces to make drawings, that kind of thing. Well, all of that I design in another program, which I use uh, for all my videos for thumbnails, so which is Canva. I've got a pro account there as well. It cost me, what, £10, uh, £10.99 a month. And I've been using that for a few years now. And it's a great tool for all sorts of photographic, even video and audio uh, projects as well. So Canva is the tool which I use for these low content books. I do have other books in mind, which I'm going to start writing soon. And all these books I'm writing now are all paperback editions because they've got to be paperback because if you're making low content books, you want something that you're going to physically write in and make notes on. The other books which I'm going to be making available can either be ebooks or uh, paperback books as well. Now, I could just produce those as PDF files as well and just upload those as well. So it's a very simple process. Once you've got it all prepared in terms of the format and the size of the book that you actually want to produce, which is all explained in Amazon KDP, it's a very simple process. So from an author's point of view, I don't think there's ever been an easier time to upload to Amazon. But is it the best choice? Well, possibly not. It depends on where you are in the world, what other options you have, and what your, what your royalty is going to be on those as well. But as an experiment, just to see if your books are ever going to sell, and Amazon is the biggest marketplace out there. So you're probably thinking, well, yeah, let me just see. When people are going to search for a diary or going to search for a, a notebook or a journal or, or any other kind of book, they're just going to type in some keywords, uh, a mechanic's diary, uh, a horse rider's notebook, that kind of thing. That's what they're going to search for. So if you title your book in that way, and if you put keywords in the description of that book that match that search query then that's your best chance of getting that book noticed. Now, how long is this going to take? Well, I say, I've only been uploading for the last 10 days, three books a day. That's the maximum that you can upload. So I've already uploaded 30. 
It takes a few days for these books to be reviewed by Amazon KDP as well, just to see if there are any irregularities. But once they go live, that's it. Then you can edit those books if you need to. Then you can edit those books. You can change the pricing, all sorts of things. It's all done on their website. And then it's just a waiting game. You can publicize those books all, all you like. But really, you're waiting for people to search for those kinds of books. And hopefully, you'll get a few sales. Now, what I'm trying to do is produce books, diaries, notebooks, journals, for the most part, that are specific to particular occupations or lifestyles or pastimes or interests or hobbies. That's what I'm producing. So I thought there's a gap in the market here where books are not really available. So that's where I'm coming from. This is my grand experiment. So if you're interested in reading any of these books or getting these books uh, for your occupation or as a present for somebody, then follow the link in the, in the description below and hopefully you'll enjoy them. There's lots more book titles coming over the next couple of months. I've got over 100 book titles in reserve right now, just waiting to be uploaded. And there's going to be more coming as well. So if you enjoy this video, keep on watching. If you enjoy all those books, well, go and have some fun. And I'll catch you again. Bye now.